so for today's video I'm going to be doing eating viral TikTok food hacks for 24 hours. So I'm really excited to do this video because I've been seeing like this floating around for a while now and I've actually seen some of my favourite YouTubers doing this so I decided to hop on the trend and try to do these viral TikTok food hacks for 24 hours and I'm really really excited to do these because I keep watching all the videos and it's actually the food actually looks so so nice so I'm really excited to try all of this really yummy food and hopefully it turns out well for us so we're going to go on to our first meal so let's get into so it. So the first thing that we're going to be moving on to for lunch, I'm actually skipping breakfast just because I'm never usually that hungry in the morning so I just have like a banana or something. So um, yeah, so basically the first thing that we're going to be doing is going to be like this egg sandwich, egg bread kind of yolk, but it's like an egg sandwich, it's really hard to explain but I'm going to start the video now. But just because it's really really windy outside so sorry if there is noise in the background but for the first thing i just seen it's like an egg toasty sandwich kind of yolk so i have my milk here um i have an egg and i want to add cheese to this i don't know whether this is cheating or not but i think some people do add cheese so i'm gonna add cheese um into it and see i think that would be nice to add a bit more flavor to it and i might add some pepper as well so i have my pepper here I have my cheese and I have my salt and as you see I have the egg and the milk. So what I need to do now is get out a frying pan and put some oil in it and just put the egg and stuff into it and hopefully this works out well. I'm hoping that it does. Um, but first you just need to scramble the egg into a cup and I'm going to get the hand out so the I'm going to get the pan out so I can um, heat it up because the pan needs to be heated before I actually put the egg in. So I have the pan here and I'm just going to put it on to maybe number three to let it heat up. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put it on to number three while that heats up and what else I need to grab is um, a fork so I can mix like my egg and stuff together which I have here and I just need to crack the egg into the bowl and then just mix it around and add the milk and stuff into it um, while the pan heats up and I need to actually get some fry light as well to spray in some people use butter but I like to use fry light to do my pan because I don't really like butter I prefer this is what I use, it's just like some fry light and just put it into your pan, it's super easy so I'm going to spray this in there so guys now what I'm doing is I'm just cracking my egg into the glass and then I'm just going to stir it around and add some milk into it so I'm just going to add some milk in. Okay, I'm going to be putting the bread into the pan. It's sort of like steaming up now, so I might have to put on the extractor, I don't know what it's called, it actually takes up like the steam. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now in a minute, but I just want to put the bread in first and I'm going to try to film me doing it. So I think I have to dip it in on both sides, kind of. So I'm gonna try to do it and try to show you guys at the same time. So this is really, really confusing. I don't know whether they dipped it in and then took it out and then put it on the other side again. Okay, so that's one done. And then dip it in, take it out and put it like that. So I'm pretty sure that's the way they did it and hopefully I did it right. Um, but we'll have to see when this kind of cooks, it has to like cook up and like this has to kind of go into a fried egg kind of. So this side's turning out, there is like little holes there and I think they'll be okay. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the way it's turning out and it's kind of turning out good. So hopefully it tastes good. Um, it's, I don't know what you have to, like what way you have to flip it and stuff. I'm gonna look back on the video and make sure I'm doing it right. Guys, I think it needs to go under the grill because for some reason, the, I don't know if it's burning at the bottom or not, or if it's cooked at the top. So it's like anytime I try to lift up the egg, it's like ripping, but the bottom obviously seems to be cooked. So I'm gonna try to put it under the grill, maybe that will help it a bit. 
and hopefully this works out. I really want it to work because, you know, I want something to eat for lunch because I don't really have many other hacks to do for lunch. Um, but let's hope that this works, fingers crossed this works because, you know, I need something for lunch. So hopefully this works. So guys, I have it on the grill here and it's just going to keep at the top of the egg just a bit more because when I had it on like the, whatever this is called, I forget the name of that. It wasn't really keeping that well, so what I'm gonna do is just keep it on there. I'm probably gonna take it in there in a second and then try to like flip it over the way everyone else is flipping it. Guys, this is the way it turned out. Um, it's not too bad, but it does look a bit weird. But in the inside, I'll do like a bit of like a montage in a minute of the way it turns out on the inside. A 9 out of 10 just because um you'd probably have to add some beans or something but because it was a small bit dry but it wasn't that much like it was only in small places sometimes of like where the crust was it could be a small bit dry um so yeah but overall like it was so so good and i really recommend to make it it seemed harder when i was making it and because it's my first time and i wasn't sure whether i was doing it right or not because I like the top of it but it was fine like when I did it and anyways so I'd rate this a 9 out of 10 and it was really really nice and there was a lot of like flavour if you added like the pepper some salt and I added a small bit of cheese and that was like so so nice to add the cheese in as well because it added much more flavour. So guys the next TikTok food life hack that I'm going to be doing is these like little mini pancakes bowl and you just put maple syrup in it so I think it's going to be really good. I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that you need but before I do that I'm going to show you guys the clip real quick of how you make these and... into the pan and we have like our container there to like measure the stuff we have milk and that's I think that's all we need and then there's some flour that we have there as well guys what I'm doing now is I'm just putting some flour into the little cup here that we're going to mix in all of our stuff together um, to make a mix now I'm just adding in some milk and we're not going to be doing too much of the pancakes because there's no point in doing too much because they won't be eaten if we do a lot. And I'm just going to be adding in some sweetener because it'll give it a bit more of a sweet taste and that's why I usually add in to make my pancake base. So now I'm just putting it into the pan because the pan is like heated up and ready so we're just going to test one round of it first and then we're going to do like another round to see like what we need to fix or whatever for this round. So this is the way they're turning out. We just need to have some cook until like they're a bit golden brown on top and hopefully these will turn out well. They're a bit small because we do not as big as a pan, but we can add stuff to them as well to make them a bit more. Now we're just going to be like letting them cook. They don't really cook like that long. Like they just literally cook really quick. So we're gonna like flip them on now. We literally had them in for like two seconds, but they're really, really easy to cook and really, really fast as well. These surprisingly actually take like really easy to cook and you only need two ingredients or like three if you want to add, if you want to add like a bit of sweetener but they're really really quick to cook like they're literally cooking so quick like they're literally golden brown already when we only had them in for like one minute already so they're really easy to cook first so batch done here and then I'm going to do the second batch so guys this is the way that they turned out i think they're so so cute and of course we have to add like maple syrup and stuff and yeah that would be like so so nice and um yeah they actually we have like some in there that literally are so, like just like circles that turn out really well and these are actually so easy so if you're looking for a snack at home these aren't even that bad for you and they're really really easy to do if you're just bored and you want to do something at home whilst you're hungry <laughs> Turned out with the maple syrup on them, 
and they actually look so so nice we're gonna try them and see if they actually taste nice these <laughs> these actually taste so good and i don't know why i'm laughing sorry but these actually taste so so good and i rate them a 10 out of 10 because they actually taste like pancakes that you'd go out and get for like breakfast <laughs> in a restaurant and i rate these a total 10 out of 10 because they're really so sorry for the bad lighting at the moment but now it's dessert time and for dessert what i'm going to be doing is actually a tiktok life hack that i made myself and basically what you do is you get like cupcakes and you heat it up in the microwave and I got double chocolate chips so like the chocolate can melt in the inside. You put that into the microwave and then you put ice cream at the side and it's a really easy um like kind of like a cake with ice cream. It's kind of the same but like once you melt it and all it's really really nice and it's a nice little hack to do um and it's really good so I'm gonna recommend that for you guys to do. It'll be on my TikTok and I'll be in a clip as well coming up next. Um, it's from my TikTok page, which will be um, on the screen and linked down in the description. And make sure to go and follow there. I post up there mostly daily, so make sure you go and check out there for more daily content. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and try to make it. I will probably be doing a voiceover because um, my family and stuff is outside and it's just going to be very noisy. So that's why I'm going to try to do a voiceover, probably because it's very, very noisy. And that's why I had to come out to my hall to film this clip as well. So it is the second day of doing these challenges um, of like the trying the TikTok food life hacks. So it is the second day and the one that we'll be doing for today is going to be like the cookies in the milk. It's going to be like cookie dough or it's going to turn out like a cake. I think the less milk you put in it turns out like cookie dough or the more milk you put in it goes in like a cake. So we're going to try that and see what it's going to turn out like. And I'm actually really excited to do this one because this is like the main one that I've been most excited for because... Um, I haven't had cookies in absolutely ages and then like as it like cookie dough or like cake it'll be so so nice I'm gonna um, show you guys the clip now of the cake <laughs> will be needing for this is just only cookies or oreos i'm doing it with cookies because i've seen people doing with oreos but i think cookies could turn out and then all you need is milk and a microwave and a mug yes, these are just all the things you need and it's simple and easy and you can use it with any biscuit i think but yeah i just have some chocolate chip cookies so guys i'm just gonna put in a couple of cookies into the mug and i'm using quite a big mug plus uh, it gets bigger i don't know what size it's gonna be so it's gonna pop a few in here and now we're just going to be mashing it up before the milk in. Now what we're doing, we're just going to be pouring the milk in. Mix it around just to make sure that's all mixed and that way it's cooking and it's all even. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the microwave for a minute because we're not really too sure on how long to put it in. But yeah, we're going to put it in for a minute and 10 seconds, I guess. I can't believe actually how well this turned out and it's literally a cake, like a cake. Like, I, ca I actually can't believe it. Like. So guys, I have the thing here and I'm going to try it. Oh my god. This actually tastes so nice. You know when you go out and you get like a uh, like fudge brownie. That's all for this video. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I hope you all have a great week. And I do post now on Sundays at 6 p.m. and I post on at Wednesdays at 1 p.m. So make sure to be here and stay tuned on the times that I post. And if I do post a little bit later or a little bit earlier. That's just around the times that I will be posting on Sundays and on Wednesdays. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.